Okay, let's get started. Shift A to adding a circle, and this time we're going to do 24. Should be good. It's a pretty decent amount of vertices, and then we're gonna do ungons. Okay, go to the top view, go into the edit mode, hitting tap key, and then we are just going to draw a square inside of a circle. But in order to have a pretty decent uh, edge on this, I'm going to hit I to insert it. To kind of protecting the the curvature circle for this particular circle, uh, and then I'm gonna hit the I one more time, then to kind of shrink it down the space between each uh, loops. So then in the very inner circle, then I'm going to draw a square. And uh, in order to having a pretty uh, correct square, and I know we have 24 vertices, I need uh, to divide it. Uh, by four, so uh, I need to make sure I select six small segments or edges uh, when I draw in the box. So you can count it how many uh, edges you want to draw, or there is an easier way just go down here to check the statistic. And then once you have the statistic over here, when you're selecting uh, each vertices, it's actually going to update how many vertices or edges that you select. So now I'm selecting six edges, which is the one that I want to do. So I'm just making sure I select these two vertices, hit J to join them. Uh, same thing over here, J, and uh, just drawing a quick box. Okay. And then once I did that, I want to make sure the inner uh, face or the inner uh, areas are going to be consistent with quad. So I need a to get this grid going on here. Hit J, just selecting these connecting dots. So it's pretty easy to do. And um, right now this side is a little bit bigger than the one we hear, but for the purpose of the our tutorial, that's it is totally fine. And um, we're just trying to using these small gadget modeling to really practicing uh, topology. So now we have a pretty good decent uh, size, but this is one single plate. This is too thin, so we need adding a thickness. I'm going to select the A to select everything, hit the E and extrude some thickness going down here. Now we have a, you know, a cylinder, and then we're going to extrude the square out of this. So hit three uh, to select all these faces down here, and then go to the front view, E to extrude it out. So now, basically, this is the shape that we want to, to use or to create. But we want to make sure once we apply subsurface modifier, this is still maintained the way that we want to do, because sometimes the thing's just going to go crazy. Uh, and uh, and then one easy way to select the sharp edges that we want to do is to go to the Number two, the edge selection mode, go to the select and uh, to select sharp edges. And now we have to do this and uh, it seems like these are the edges that exactly what we want to do. And then we're just going to do a quick bevel, control B to do bevel, left click. And then we're going to adjusting the width, I think one should be fine and the segment usually I do two and because I want to maintain the shape of the original mesh I'm gonna dr drag the, the shape all the way to one instead of 0.5 and then the up meter sharper I'm going to using the arc okay so you see this is, looks pretty nice and then and tap it out object mode perfect time to adding a subsurface modifier control 2 to edit that and then Shade smooth. Looks pretty decent, and uh, I think it looks very nice. And one thing what we need to do is we want to make sure everything's in qua. So what I can do here, I can double check and go to the edit mode, face selection mode, or hit three, and then we can down here select and uh, select by trays. Okay, and I already uh, right click adding this as a shortcut key. So if I'm adding Q key, so it's already on my quick favorites. So I can just select that. So it's saying all these four vertices, I mean quads, has been selected because its type is equal to. And as you can see here, we have some faces that are not 
quads. They are、uh, definitely more than four vertices. So what we can do here, we are going to do some modification. Okay. So let's come down here, go to the edit mode, and what we can do a quick to fix this is to see this a typical shape.、Uh, we're going to do a kind of a diamond shape to merge these two vertices. Going to hit. Select these two vertices and hit J to join it. This thing, J to join it. Now I can just select this edge number two and hit X to dissolve this edge. So now everything's in quad, right? And、uh, let's see Q. Okay, so this part has been fixed. So because we are doing a kind of like circle cylinder shape. Uh, we don't have to do the four times, and in order to fix this issue, so we can just to delete、uh, the other vertices and using、uh, mirror modifier to quickly fix that. So Alt Z to X-ray mode, select all the vertices that、uh, we don't use, and hit X to delete vertices. Then we're gonna come down here, adding a mirror modifier real quick, and move the thing above the subsurface. Modifier because we want to do this mirror first and hit the Y and Z and the clipping and、uh, edit out and hit apply. Now we are fix all this with this shape, okay? And、uh, let's double check Q face by size. I think all the faces have been selected, which means everything's in quad. And if you are Uh, really want to do getting everything fixed and grid. You can certainly change that to kind of move things around to make it looks prettier. But、uh, you don't have to because this thing is already on a flat surface. It's not a, a big deal of、uh, moving them around. But just for the sake of、uh, looking, so you can definitely do that. All right. So I'm not going to spend more time on this. And another thing, once you have built this one. What you can do here is basically you can change the thickness of the bottom part. Select that, and do that, adding the thickness and the, the height for that. And also, if you are going to select this, and you're gonna holding Control and the Plus key on the right hand, the number pad, so you can just select the areas to kind of come inside in here. Alt Z, come down here. So I'm typically want to having a enough geometry to select it on the edge. So if I'm going to the top view, I can hit S key to really getting bigger and scale on that. All right, because I'm using the it's not a really a properly scaled. So what I do here, Alt Z, Control Z to undo it. I will do top view,、uh, hit. S and、uh, Shift Z. Then I'm going to only scale it up along the, except the Z axis. So basically, it's getting bigger. And then we can adding some loop cuts as we need it. So we can having some other cool shapes、uh, based on what we already built.、Uh, same thing over here as well. So we can actually、uh, shrink everything down a little bit. And when we holding Control Plus key to select the more, so we can hit S. Shift Z to make it smaller. Okay, so but pay attention on the subsurface modifier. Sometimes if you're getting too close, that is going to mess up with the shading. Okay, so now it's looking pretty good. So yeah, so this this is pretty much everything I want to share in this video. And、uh, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please hit likes and subscribe. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.